Okay. <clears throat> so I was looking online and it said that Champion says not to use anti-seize because it comes that way from the factory with the coating already on it. Trust me, there is no coating on this. I don't care. I'm going to put it on there. So anyway, these are about 45 out of the box. Uh, would be good to know. Um, I need them at uh, 32. So I already fixed this one. Um, I'm going to do all the others and put them in. Okay, so <clears throat> I gauged the plugs, put in the plugs, I started the car, not a, I did that in the rain, it's a commitment. So here's the story so far with the Corolla. Um, there's no spark. I figured that out yesterday when I had a neighbor come over and turn the key for me while I held the spark plug attached to the spark plug wire to ground and there was no spark. So. Um, I looked at the, uh, and those brand new spark plugs I put in, and the wires have, the resistance is fine, and um, I looked at the cap, and it looks brand new, as do the wires and the original spark plugs, which I haven't thrown away because I think they're fine. Um, and, uh, and so the next thing is to look at the coil. Well, I didn't know where it was, so I had to do a lot of research. Because I'm used to looking for the ones that kind of look like um, uh, ketchup bottles, you know, like the ones you squeeze at diners, you know. But um, that's kind of what I was looking for, but that's not what it looks like on a Toyota. Let me show you. Let me open up the cap and show you. Well, okay. So everyone says, follow the wire that doesn't go to a spark plug. Let's, let's look at that. Here's my cap. And there are four wires and four spark plugs. So, yeah, um, yep, nothing there. Um, and there was this kind of weird bump thing, but that's just part of the cap. So I was, you know, I'm looking all over, you know, where's that thing I can check? It is it hidden somewhere, and I, I know that on a lot of vehicles, I've, you know, before I'd seen it, not really known what it was at the time, you know. But, um, anyway it's under this cap so I'm gonna pop this off these are uh, eight millimeter screws you can use um, a Phillips or um, a flathead screwdriver one thing I forgot to mention is that I like to have a three inch extension it's just easier to get to but this is in the way so we're gonna take um, the positive battery terminal off um, and if we need it on and put it back on easily but that way it's out of the way push that down there so it doesn't connect <laughs> so here's the rotor um, so this right here is the ignition coil um, this just pulls straight off La. it's a little dusty but let me show you the inside of the cap that's why I say this all this is new look at that I have not cleaned that that's a brand new cap so I think the wires are brand new and I think spark plugs are brand new too. Okay, all this says do not remove, do not remove, but we need to remove it to test it, um, I believe. So we're gonna remove it. All right, got my handy dandy screwdriver. I'm just gonna pop this off. Wow, came off easy all because it's new. I'm gonna get on the underside here and pop that off. Well, okay, so we're gonna pull them forward. Oh, this stupid thing is just in the way, no matter where it is, it's in the way. Okay, <clears throat> so I'll set that somewhere and then let's take a look here. Oh, out of my way. All right, so yeah, I guess I don't really need to take the cover off now I'm looking at it, but um, anyway, so here's our positive and negatives. I can't. Oh, this one's positive. There's a little plus sign right here that you can't see and I can barely see. So I'll check that and then this is our output. So I'm going to check the resistance on these, positive to negative and then positive to output. Let me go get my multimeter. So this is my pride and joy. Um, this is my Fluke 88.5 automotive multimeter that I got for my automotive classes. And um, 
It's fantastic. Uh, got a good price on it. It's awesome. So, <clears throat> as I put my my leads on here, um, I'll just show you the close up of the multimeter because started filming a little too soon. Edit, edit, edit. Titles, titles, titles. All right, so we're gonna put it here on ohms. You see the little ohms uh, thing? There's ohms here. Okay, out of limits. That means there's no resistance. There's no connection. So, because these aren't touching. So, but if we touch them, and there we go. Okay, so <clears throat> so it's good. So a really super cool thing about this fluke is it's got a magnetic strap <clears throat> that you can put on so you can not hold it with your hands. So it's awesome. So I changed out and put a clip on here and put it on the positive because that one's going to stay there. So we'll mark this one up uh, to the negative. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, all right. So I've got on negative 1.5, 1.6. Okay, um, and then we'll do it to the output. So about 40, 37. Um, I think that means it's bad. So let's go look that up and see what that would be. In. So I was told by a reliable source that my method of uh, or that just the test in general uh, checking the um, ignition coil with resistance you know um, isn't very reliable so this reliable source or Brian or Brian's mobile one told me that <clears throat> when he worked at a automotive store that the tests on the ignition coils were often unreliable because they would test bad then people would buy new ignition coils still wouldn't work and they'd buy an igniter and then it would work or they'd buy an ignition module anyway long story short is to purchase uh, the ignition coil and an igniter the combined price is more than just a distributor that has both of them so guess what I'm gonna do or guess what I did because this was recorded way later <laughs> I bought the distributor so $180 later, next video, I'll show you how to install the distributor on a 1991 Toyota Corolla. I love everyone's comments. Thanks so much for leaving them. And um, as a prelude to something coming up, what is something you horribly misdiagnosed? Ooh, mystery. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, share, comment. All right, thanks so much.